This is your KCTV 5 News Update. An overflow crowd packed a town hall meeting last night in the Northland, with the vast majority opposed to the proposed changes in police spending. Supporters say they feel this will give the city more control of the police department, but all four council members from north of the river oppose the change. They say the area needs more officers, and that's not going to happen if money is shifted to other programs. Mayor Quentin Lucas has said this is not a case of defunding police, but those who oppose the ordinances aren't convinced. I read to see my money go into human lives, to mental health. I lost a sister this year because of murder. Then you can put all the lipstick you want on the defunding pig, but it is defunding. Now under the two ordinances, about $42 million would be placed into a community services and prevention fund. Masks are no longer required anywhere in the state of Kansas. A mask mandate in Wyandotte County expired last night. County commissioners voted down and moved to extend it. Every local county has now lifted their mask mandate, but some businesses are still requiring them. A Warrensburg man who worked for the Postal Service admitted he stole cash and gift cards from the mail. 27-year-old Tyrone Reed Jr. pleaded guilty Thursday in federal court to conspiracy to possess stolen mail. He took more than $1,800 in cash and gift cards and gave them to his girlfriend. Here's another sign the pandemic is easing. Costco is bringing back free samples. The company says the free food samples loved by its members are returning next month. Costco eliminated those samples 14 months ago amid the COVID pandemic. They'll look a little different though. Workers will prepare the samples in smaller batches behind plexiglass and distribute them one at a time. Well, you may see a few breaks in the cloud cover. In fact, I can promise you'll see at least a sliver of sunshine, but it stays cool thanks to a northwest wind throughout the afternoon. 59 is your daytime high. Really cools off this evening. Have the jackets ready to go, especially at sunset. 53 degrees at 9, 50 at 11, and then there's an entire overnight of cooling. So you should wake up to fair skies, but temperatures pretty crisp in the morning at 45 degrees. Northeast winds at less than 10 miles per hour. Gentle pace to the breeze. The wind stays light on Saturday. The sunshine stays bright on Saturday, and it promises to be a really nice day. Low humidities. We don't get many days like this at this time of the year. Daytime high climbing to only 67 degrees, and that is with a mostly sunny sky. Here's your forecast track showing you those beautiful skies on Saturday. Clouds return Sunday. Rain kind of teases us more than anything. This looks to be a northwest of Kansas City event on Memorial Day Monday. Tuesday, pretty good chance for rain coming in, mostly in the morning. Wednesday, another opportunity for showers to arrive. So kind of a wet middle part of the work week, but things look better toward the end of next week and it'll be warmer as well. Rainfall totals not whopping, but will likely between now and the middle of next week pick up another three quarters of an inch to maybe a full inch of rain. Security Bank seven day forecast a chilly 59 this afternoon, upper 60 Saturday, closer to 70 on Sunday. 80 would be normal. I don't see temperatures getting even close to that until the end of next week. Enjoy the next seven days. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.